You ready? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> What's good everybody? I'm Chase, this is Jess. Probably already know that, but if you're new, welcome to the channel, welcome to this video, it's gonna blow your mind. Basically, I lost like... <laughs> My bike was stolen, that guy took it. I wanted to mention, I lost like over 1200 bucks making this video, mostly because the cops took all my gear, but shout out to the cops. The PC sheriffs. The PC sheriffs, they were super dope, they were really cool about the whole situation. Um, Anyway, it's just a reminder that these videos take a lot to produce, a lot of money, a lot of time, etc, etc. So I'm trying to get a bunch of patrons, you guys, to pledge like two bucks a month or whatever it may be. By doing so, you're going to help us create more high quality adventure videos for you guys to enjoy. I want to travel to different countries, I want to go to different locations, do different things, bungee jumping, skydiving, base jumping, etc, etc. That all takes money. and. I need your guys' help. So go check it out, I'll put the link in the description for you guys, and a huge shout out to you if you're gonna do so. I love you guys. And now it's time for the best video you've ever seen in your life. It's gonna blow <laughs> your mind. I know it was the craziest thing I've ever done, the most scared I've ever been. So enjoy it guys, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this video because Ugh, I'm still not even over it. It happened yesterday, and we're just, I'm still just like, I couldn't even sleep again last night because I was so excited about so this. so epic. Can't wait to show you. So here it is, guys. Enjoy. here with Delta Papa on Bird Dog. <laughs> we're at this 700 foot bridge. That's our code name by the way because we're gonna be on walkie talkies, being all official about things. But yo, tell them what's about to happen. Basically we're hooking 250 feet of rope for a massive rope swing. We're gonna do it together except he's gonna be hooked into the rope. I'm not. At the top of the swing I'm gonna let go and fly away safely hopefully and Chase is just gonna sit there and swing. He's gonna leave me dangling. It's gonna be the first time this has ever been done in history, we're about to do something no one else has ever done. And I'm super excited for it. It's mostly nervous, but super excited. I'm terrified because if the line would break or something, I don't have a base break. He at least... I do. <laughs> he at least has a parachute on his back. We're gonna get the butterflies out, go up there, scope it out, get a plan set in stone, and then meet up here again tomorrow morning and send it. Let's do it. See you guys up there. for the sun to go down and then we're gonna come back here and rig it up tonight. We don't really know what to expect when we jump off, how the weight's gonna be distributed and how many G's we're gonna pull. So right now we're trying to figure out how it's gonna feel with him hanging on my back on a rope swing. We're gonna set up this chain, use it as an anchor point, and then we're gonna throw the rope up and I'm gonna harness in and he's gonna like 
kind of hang on to me. It's gonna give us a feel for what tomorrow morning is gonna feel like. It's really the only way to test it out. We can't actually like do a swing to see how it feels. We kind of just have to go for it. Originally the plan was he was just gonna hang on to me completely, but like it would just break my back. I would just fold backwards with him holding me with all the force that we we're gonna experience. So like I said, we're gonna try to make handles and he's gonna wrap his legs around me. This is the plan. We came up with this, improvised a little bit. Figure eight on a bite with two things of webbing. Created this little handle. The plan is not to scratch my cornea with all this debris falling, but up. <laughs> but yeah, Dallas is gonna hang onto these and he's gonna be like kind of pulling back and he's gonna wrap his thighs around. We're gonna try it out right now, see how it works once he gets down here safe and sound. So we're going like this. Um, <laughs> Or are we going like this? I thought you were going to go behind Oh, me. yeah, I'm going behind you like this. Yeah. You got to get like your thighs like right on my thighs so we can rub our thighs together in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, the webbing we had up here as a handle didn't work because it like put too much pressure on his hands. So we got this little guy. I had it from the zip line that I set up a few months ago, but we're going to have this up here. It's going to be a really good handle for this. For this fellow back here to hang on to. We're gonna have to somehow time our jumps exactly the same, and he's gonna wrap his legs around me in midair. Let's try it right now. <laughs> you like 10 seconds of your chair. <laughs> it's dark now, as you can see. The only way to do this is do it now in the dark, set up the swing so we can hit it first thing in the morning. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk out on this tiny little six inch beam, balancing with the rope in my hand, and set it up. It's gonna be really sketchy. Jess doesn't even want to watch it. Dallas said he doesn't want to watch it. Dallas doesn't think I should do it, but it's gotta be done. There's only one way to do it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do because this has gotta go down. It's dark and I'm not gonna be able to film it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it set up. And you guys are gonna have to see tomorrow what exactly it's looking like. So hang in there, almost done. Update, we are back in the bus. It's a no-go for tonight. We had some bad things happen to us. We were out on the bridge rigging up the lines and out of nowhere a helicopter is flying really low through the valley. I thought originally it was just a coincidence but then he came back around even lower the second time and slow and shined his spotlight right on us. Just like squatted down flat on her stomach and I wedged myself between two beams to hide. In the process of that, I knocked the rope off of the bridge because I freaked out. The rope plummeted 700 feet into the watery abyss below. So, lost the rope, it got swept away in the water. So that's about a $200 loss. And now we don't have a rope to do the rope swing. We have another rope, but I like to be safe about things. So we need two ropes for this rope swing. One for backup. Redundancy is key. I need a second rope to have peace of mind when I'm flinging my body off a 700 foot bridge. That set us back, it's late now, nothing's open. I can't buy more climbing rope till tomorrow. We're gonna set it up tomorrow night and hit it the following morning. We're gonna catch you guys then. We are gonna get a good night's sleep tonight. I'm going to cry myself to sleep for losing the rope. Stupidest thing I've ever done. The suspense continues guys. You're gonna have to keep watching. It's gonna get gnarly, I promise. I'll catch you then, peace. Jump day. There's no yawning on jump day, bro. Sorry. So we are out here at the bridge now, waiting on the homies to show up, but the nerves and all the anxiety is setting in right about now. I got maybe an hour of sleep last night. I just laid in bed and thought about all the potential outcomes of this. It's super scary because it's all unknown. It hasn't been done before, so we don't know what to expect. What are you thinking as far as like the unknowns go? I just hope I can handle whatever happens in the moment and uh, it doesn't get too wonky out there. Dude. We get a clean clean getaway and clean opening. Yeah. We'll be good. Yeah. So He's... it all starts with us going off. If we have a bad exit and we start spinning, that's going to suck for me. Mm. Uh, I don't know how far I'm going to swing up and how much like dead air I'm gonna have to deal with mm -hmm. and what my body position is gonna look like up there 
Yeah, so a lot of unknowns going into this jump. Oh, can you hang on? I hope so. He's not harnessed in or yeah. attached to me in any way. He's know. hanging on to a handle. Yeah. Jumping off a 200 plus foot rope swing. So yeah. it's going to be absolutely crazy. It'll be sunrise here in 20 minutes. So we're going to make moves, we're trying to make this happen before anybody can see it. And get out of here. Get out of here safe. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you on the bridge. We had a little run-in with the with the police department. Like seven cop cars were up here, threatening to send us all to jail and give us felonies. And uh, we don't know where Chase is at. I think he's in the woods hiding. But I think he's gonna escape. I think he's gonna be good. Chase, please make it out safe. I'm just glad we executed that swing jump flawlessly and we didn't die. And now we just need to not go to jail. So. Hope you make it out safe, bud. <laughs> it took me about 45 minutes to climb back up the rope. I used every ounce of energy in my body to get to the top. I could... I could barely pull myself over the railing at the very top. But I'm in this thing hiding now. I've been in here for about two hours because somebody caught the police.
since this bridge is super hot and they're probably waiting for me up top, I'm not sure. I'm gonna hide the camera. I'm gonna leave it down here. I'm gonna come back tonight and grab the camera. Just in case they're up there, I don't want them to get my footage and delete it. Cause this footage is gold. Oh, I just watched it, it was so sick. But I have no cell phone. My radio died. So I have no clue where my friends are. I can't wait to get back up top and find my friends. I'll catch you guys up top. We'll talk more about this later. <laughs> Your eyes were like this big. Dude, just like <laughs> stepping off, we were falling for so long and the rope was oh still God. like this and I was like, oh, we have so much more falling to go. You didn't let go at like the peak of the swing? <laughs> I know. You let go, did you, did you, couldn't hang on any longer? No, you were, you, I just look at you and you were just like, send <laughs> And I was like, okay. Dude, <laughs> in the video, you're just hanging and you just <laughs> straight down. <laughs> we were like, we're Basically, what happened just now it's Dallas and I, we made history. Did something no one else has ever done. Nobody's ever done that? No, never. Dude, there's so many aspects of it that have never been done. Dude, like one of the biggest swings ever, he was just hanging onto a handle above my head, not harnessed in, dropping 200 feet with his own body strength hanging on. That's so intense. Dude, I can't even describe it. Craziest thing ever. But now, do you guys wanna grab some grub? Yeah. Some grinds? Yeah, we need a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we need to, uh, I just need to just wind down because this is, <sighs> let's get out of here. <sighs> oh my God. All right guys, never officially ended the video yesterday. It got so hectic. I was just overwhelmed with emotion because that was <laughs> the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace out. Whoop.